Hello everyone and welcome to Rebel Way. In this video I wanted to talk about the mastering pyro effects in Houdini and explain what we're going to be learning each week and how it is structured. And the first week we're going to start uh, by learning all about the Houdini DOPS and the Smoke Solver and we're going to create these two examples to learn how to emit volumes, uh, create collision geometry, sync volume and how to sim and, and cache high-res high data. And then in week two we're going to uh, start looking at how to use the pyro solver in houdini this is what ships by default with houdini and we're going to cr create some kind of nuclear explosion and learn how to create fire and while doing this we're going to learn all about the settings available in the pyro solver and then we're going to see all the limitations as well and once we have the the limitations list we're going to start planning to create our own custom solver that will hopefully will fix all of them and uh, in week three, we're going to start doing that. And this is an example from uh, done using the custom solver that we're going to create in week three. And you can see we're getting a lot of details. Um, and this is a mid res sim. And hopefully the solver that we're going to be create is going to be much, much faster than the Houdini Pyro solver. And we're going to have a lot more flexibility over the sim and how uh, and what how much details we can get. And these are mid res sim and you can see primarily we fixed the mushroom issue and we're getting a lot of details and these two are uh, mid, -res, mid res sim again and the sim time was like one or two hours basically. And then in, uh, in week, uh, starting from week four all the way up to week seven, we're going to continue adding various features to the solver and we're going to add combustion model uh, to it to create explosions. We're going to learn how to emit from fast moving objects. We're going to um, uh, learn how to uh, create this spikes look and various other things. And then uh, we're going to keep adding more features to it. And hopefully by week seven, we're going to be uh, looking at creating uh, high res, super high res sims and learn how to use collision geometry and deal with high res meshes. And then once we are done with all the sims, we should have a, a decent amount of sims that we're going to learn how to render using Arnold. And this is primary, This is the main uh, goal from week seven, sorry, week eight, nine, and 10. We're going to learn how to create this scene and render the smoke as well as rendering all the other examples that I uh, was showing. So we're gonna go over pretty much all the sims and learn how to shade them and render them uh, using Arnold. And then in, in week 10, we're going to learn how to composite this and uh, how to make use of the all the AOVs to ex add extra details to the sim. And uh, there is a another video that hopefully you guys have seen. So in the end, this is the final product of what we're going to be creating. And again, everything we see here uh, is pretty much raw renders. Everything that I showed was raw render, except here there is a little bit of glow and minor color correction, but primarily this is the uh, this is the raw render and it is raw for everything else in this video. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, one more note, we have, uh, we have changed the structure of the workshop. So now you can join, uh, you can join either a seven weeks version where it only focuses on the sim part and then uh, you can uh, choose to take the 10 weeks workshop as well which covers the sim and rendering so if you're only interested in the sim part you can take this version and there's also the you can pay 50 percent now and 50 percent later thank you guys for watching and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions thanks bye